hard Brexit, soft Brexit, or anything in between, the one thing they all have in common is Article 50. Let's take a look at what this is all about. Article 50 is the formal process for leaving the European Union. This was part of the Treaty of Lisbon, which was signed in 2007 and was put into place in the end of 2009. It's actually meant for many years, there was no formal process for leaving the EU, although no member has tried to leave before the UK. This article both notifies the EU that the country wants to leave, and it means the EU has to negotiate a withdrawal agreement. The Prime Minister plans to trigger Article 50 by the end of March. The leaving process takes two years to complete. During this time, EU laws still apply to the UK, but it's no longer part of the discussion or creation of new laws for the EU. In the two years, the UK and the EU negotiate the terms of exit. However, a new trade deal can't be agreed until after the two years are up. The exit deal must be approved by 72% of the remaining states, but it can be vetoed by the European Parliament as well. The process can be extended beyond two years, but only if agreed by all the remaining EU members. The government overcame the first hurdle of having Parliament decide that Article 50 is allowed to be triggered. Details of Article 50 and Brexit are currently being debated in Parliament. They're looking at issues such as allowing Parliament to have a veto over the final Brexit outcome and the status of EU citizens currently living in the UK. So are there any other options? Well, the European Communities Act is the law passed in the UK that allowed entry to the EU. So the government could simply repeal this law and bypass Article 50, but this would really hurt relations with the EU and the ability to get a trade deal after. The only realistic option is to go through the formal process of Article 50. So that was a quick look at Article 50. Even though it's set to be triggered this month, we're not going to see any meaningful information for a number of months to come. No one has ever gone through this process before, so it'll be interesting to see how smoothly it actually goes. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. I'll have a new video every Thursday, so I'll see you then.